Hello, I'm Alan at Rob, and welcome to my second video about the three common metallic structures. In today's video, we will be investigating how to obtain the relative sizes of the interstitial, octahedral, and tetrahedral sites, the FCC and BCC structures. These results can give us further insights into the extent of solid solubility of a solute atom in a solvent atom's crystal structure. On the whiteboard is a reduced sphere model of the FCC crystal structure with the axes X, Y and Z shown. In the non-reduced sphere model, it's easier to see that there are various spaces in the structure which aren't taken up by the volume of an atom. In the previous video, we calculated how much space was occupied in the unit cell by the volume of its constituent atoms. Here in this video, we are interested in the maximum sizes of the atoms that can fit into the various interstitial sites, all without inducing a strain on the surrounding matrix. This diagram is the reduced sphere model of the FCC structure, showing key features about the octahedral interstitial site. It shows that the FCC matrix atoms, which are in contact with the um, octahedral interstitial hole, coordinate the site octahedrally, i.e. form an octahedron centred on the hole. This diagram is the reduced sphere diagram, showing an FCC tetrahedral interstitial hole. It is coordinated tetrahedrally by its nearby FCC matrix atoms. These are the same diagrams, but in the non-reduced sphere form, where the FCC matrix atoms that make contact with the interstitial holes are different in colour. Please pause this video to make a sketch or copy of the diagrams on the board, as I will not repeat them again. To begin to obtain the size of the FCC octahedral hole, I recommend viewing the FCC structure along the 200 plane, and if you look back to my non-reduced diagram, you can see that the hole lies at the centre of the unit cell, and a triangle like that drawn on the whiteboard below can be formed with sides 2 radii, 2 radii and L. The diagram between the lengths of 2 radii is equal to 90 degrees and thus we can use Pythagoras' theorem, giving the value of our length L to be equal to 2 root 2 of R, where R is the FCC matrix atom radii value. Looking back at the non-reduced diagram again, focusing on the FCC octahedral interstitial site, it can be seen that the length L is also equal to 2R plus 2R prime, where the radius of the interstitial hole is equal to R prime. Equating the two equations of L, we obtain an equation in terms of just R and R prime. Thus, we can obtain the ratio of the FCC octahedral hole radius to the radius of the FCC matrix atoms, this value being root 2 all minus 1. For the tetrahedral hole, the distance between the centre of a corner atom of the FCC matrix to the centre of a nearby tetrahedral hole, which in this diagram is positioned at 3 quarters, 1 quarter, 1 quarter. This distance of L is equal to 1 quarter of the distance between the opposite FCC corner atoms, i.e. root 3 over 4 of A. And L is also equal to R plus R prime, as it's connecting the centres between the two atoms and they make contact with one another. As we know the ratio between the lattice parameter A to R, as found out in the previous video, we can convert the multiple of A in the utmost equation to being a multiple of R, giving us this equation, which can then be further simplified and rearranged, forming the ratio between the radius of the FCC tetrahedral hole to the radius of the FCC matrix atom, which has a value of root 3 over 2 or minus 1. Comparing the two ratios obtained by us, it appears that the octahedral holes are larger than the tetrahedral holes in the FCC crystal structure. Now we will be obtaining the BCC octahedral hole size and then the BCC tetrahedral hole size. On the board are two diagrams of the non-reduced sphere models showing the two different interstitial holes. Please pause the video again like last time to take note of these two diagrams. The octahedral hole that will be the focus of this derivation is the one at the top of the right hand face. The octahedral positions lie midway along the sides and at the centres of the faces of the BCC structure. The distance L is the distance between the two nearby BCC matrix atoms at the corners of the unit cell. This distance is also equal to 2R plus 2R prime, as the octahedral hole site makes contact with those two BCC matrix atoms. We found out in the previous video the ratio between A and R, and using this we can make our initial equation in terms of just R and R prime. Doing the maths, you can obtain the answer of two lots of root 3, all over 3, all minus 1, which is equivalent to root of 4 over 3, all minus 1. Now we obtain the same for the BCC tetrahedral hole, 
the tetrahedral hole of interest lies at the position of 1 quarter, 1, 3 quarters. Two BCC unit cells have been repeated on our, on our diagram, and the diagram to the right shows the superimposed image when looking parallel to the x-axis. Centred around the tetrahedral hole, the BCC matrix atoms that the hole is coordinated by being shown on the diagram. We can form a right angle triangle from this diagram, as shown on both diagrams, and so Pythagoras' theorem can be used, giving us the value of distance L to be root 5 over 4 of A. Using our R to A ratio, and knowing that the distance L is equal to R plus R prime, due to the fact that the tetrahedral hole and the atom at the centre make contact, we can then equate the utmost equation and the lowest equation together in terms of R and R prime. And by rearranging, we obtain our radius ratio, which is a value of root of 5 over 3, all minus 1. In the FCC structure, the octahedral hole was larger than the tetrahedral hole, whereas in the BCC structure, the tetrahedral hole is larger than the octahedral hole. But BCC's octahedral hole has a smaller radius than FCC's octahedral hole. In plain carbon steels, gamma iron exists at high temperatures and has the iron atoms in the FCC crystal structure. Upon cooling this gamma ion, we form alpha ion as a product, which has the BCC crystal structure. The difference between crystal structures of the two forms of ion mean that the maximum solubility of carbon in alpha ion is lower than in gamma ion, which can be seen on the iron carbon metal stable phase diagram. The current pictures on the screen show all the locations of the octahedral and tetrahedral interstitial sites on the FCC and BCC structures. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been informative and please do subscribe if you want to hear more explanations on material science topics.